Thank you. Last presentation of the day, let's make it a great one, right? My name is Jeff Sergis, and I'm the CEO of RL Datix. Over 20 years ago, there was an article written called To Air is Human, the right of patients to have safe care anywhere in the world. And born out of that article was a department called Risk Management, where hospitals and providers alike started to record incidents, incident management, starting to document what happened when bad things happened inside of a hospital or in the provider community. RL Datix became a global pioneer in the automation of risk management incident reporting to track these unfortunate events, whether it's falls, acquired infections, medication adherence issues, sepsis, anything that happens within the four walls or within the perimeter of a healthcare system, we have to report on. After all, who wants to go to a hospital that's not safe? Fast forward 20 years, inside of risk management, inside of proactive care, root cause analysis peer review is a global business that partners with AWS. Today we are in 22 countries around the world, patients, our patients everywhere. And inside of the risk management department, we help risk mitigate because we want to go from a world of reactive reporting to proactive risk mitigation. And what do you need to do that? Well, we need some ingredients here to make this an enterprise platform. One, you need a great partner like AWS. Inside of the 22 countries we operate in, the US, Saudi Arabia, Australia, Europe, England, Canada, we have to have partners because the data here is critical. Many times, events in risk management lead to a claim, lead to litigation, and that information is vital. So we believe in one simple phrase, everyone is entitled to safer care. And the three ingredients that come apart there is patient safety, workforce safety, and a safer and protected healthcare organization. Over time, we've seen this grow into an area called governance, risk, and compliance, or what we'll call GRC. Now, how did we get there? Well, let's step back. We're at HIMSS today, and over 15 years ago, we heard of things called practice management software. And yet today, there's over 10 booths that talk about revenue cycle management. In fact, you get employed inside the health system as a vice president of revenue cycle. We believe one day very soon, you will have a vice president of GRC solutions. Because these vertical consume solutions are starting to play across the end tier in the enterprise. That's where Amazon helps us. We have great case studies in Australia and the US and the like where our products are enabled, our products are tested, and they're very secure. So we believe in a world where there's a better and safer patient experience, a better and safer workforce through human capital management, staff scheduling, and we believe that that leads to a safer healthcare organization. So let's take a different look at how we grow inside of a healthcare setting. One, what do we know about healthcare? Highly regulated, very much a compliant driven industry. And coming out of COVID, we have tailwinds now. All of us have experienced the backup to get a procedure done, the backup to get an annual exam done. That is gonna put undue stress and strain into the system that Joint Commission says over the next three to five years it will take to get these all caught up. That's a lot of risk entering the system. If you're recording that over 30% of all inpatient stays at a hospital are gonna have some sort of an event, some sort of a safety issue. So we've got our work cut out for us. With over 1,400 employees working in 6,000 hospitals around the world, we again partner with AWS to deploy these solutions in a safe and trusted environment. So one of the areas we focus on is within the government setting. The VA and the DOD, for example, are great clients of RL Datix. We get to say there's not a tent in the world where there's a US soldier that our software isn't sitting next to a bedside ensuring safer care. We take that one step further and inside the four walls or within a healthcare organization, we're working with compliance departments, the chief compliance officer. This could be on policy and procedure management, contract management, instructions for use, making sure you're printing off the requirements and the usage instructions, and then helping hospitals with their compliance and rounding. All of this is to make for a safer environment. Because when we connect horizontally a bunch of vertical solutions, we start to get access to information real time that helps our organizations become highly reliable in their approach to risk management. 
further on, we try to support our patients, right? Anytime you see a patient, you want to get the best care possible. So we have to know that patient. And we, through an infection surveillance product, are able to offer the blood pressure, the age, what they're in for, have they, if they fall or have an event, how do you risk mitigate that? Maybe we should know who was in the room or who was supposed to be in the room. That's where workforce management comes in. Who was scheduled, who was the physician, were they credentialed properly, leads to the broader case once it hits and becomes a claim. So we work very closely with our compliance officers and our governance teams to make sure our systems are real time, stood up 24-7, 365, and available to our customers. And then finally, from an insurance perspective, doing business in 22 countries, you have to really understand the environment that you're operating in. A socialist environment, a provincial model, here in the United States, our insurance uh, model in Medicare. So we've got to be able to adapt each of these products to the functionality of the local authority or the country we operate in. Try doing this in Saudi Arabia where we're written in Arabic and making that available. A partner like AWS helps our time to implement, our time to enter a market in a trusted and satisfactory way. So as we think about our growth and we think about the current state of healthcare, we always hear about the, the, the front office or the back office. Quite simply, governance, risk, and compliance is in the middle office, right? We have to be aware of all the information coming together, whether it's to prepare for an audit, or whether it's to enable real-time information for prevention, or whether it's to investigate in the unlikely chance something happens. And we spend a lot of time with our data and analytics making that available. And this is going to continue, because if you think about a clinical record, then you have a case where information has to be interoperable and electronic. But if you come over to the operational side, you're going to hear more about vertical solutions. I could be audited for this. I may have a regulatory reporting requirement for something else. So in each of those models, we have to be either thin or really wide with our data and our operations. And as a CEO of a global company, it's great to know in our partnership with AWS, I can make a call, work with our client, and we triangulate the important requirements to enable for uh, many, many of our customers. In fact, one particular customer we're most proud of is in Sydney, Australia. New South Wales Health is the largest provider of health to over 8 million people in Sydney. Over 120,000 employees use our solutions to schedule their nurses, to enable their patients for safer care, to work with the caregivers and the safety organization so that the entire system can look at a way to provide the best and safest care for their patients, for their workforce, and for their community. Because as we know, all healthcare is local. And even though it's a global business, it's local, local, and local. So we're super excited about what we've done with Amazon and AWS. We're super excited about our customers' ability to embrace this technically and make these solutions available. And in our, in our mission, vision, and values of our company, we actually believe safe care is a human right, and we work every day with our customers to try to make that available. And finally, when we think about um, uh, customers and we look at whether it's a class rating, an NPS score, we're always listening to our market because we're uncovering every day another environment to work in, another interoperable state, another prevention that's got to be caused, and then what is the regulatory change that needs to happen. So we continue to breathe this air, we continue to provide this enterprise, and we continue to look for great partners like AWS to help us make this available to all of our customers. So you might not have heard of RL Datix, but we're helping to make patients, workforce, and healthcare much safer than it has been over the last 20 years. My name is Jeff Sergis, and thank you very much.